Hello children, I hope you are all doing well. I welcome all of you for today's class. Today we are going to discuss an interesting concept. But before that, I have got you few pictures. Let's have a look at them. Look at the first one. And now the second one. Children, do they look similar? But actually, they are the same. One, we have captured it from the front view and the other one, we have captured it from the top view. In fact, this is the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is in Egypt. And yes, I have something to share with you. Few days back, I have asked a few students to draw a diagram of horse. Most of them have drawn wonderful diagrams. In fact, I would like to share few with you. These drawings are too good, isn't it? But there was one student drawn in a different way. I was surprised. Before I talk about it, I would like to show that to you. Have a look at that. Have you seen the horse in it? No, right? In fact, I too didn't see that. But then I asked the student, where is a horse in your drawing? You know what he said? He said, sir, the horse is in the drawing. But then, since it is behind the wall, we could see only a tail. Isn't it funny? Well, I have the last two images which I have to show you. Have a look at them. Yes, go for the next one. Though from the front view it looks so small, how massive it is from the top view, isn't it? Well. This is our Indian Parliament, which is in New Delhi. Children, if we look at all these pictures, we can say that the way things look need not be the same way they exist, isn't it? Let's explore more about this in this chapter, The Way the World Looks. Here we have our friend Gapu, a great little brave mouse. We welcome him. Hi, my dear friends, this is your Gapu. Gapu had explored the way the world looks for him by doing an air journey. Let's know more about what Gappu had done in his air journey. One day, Gappu saw a girl playing with a huge gas balloon inside their home. Gappu observed that the balloon went up and touched the roof. He got an idea. And the next day, when the girl went to school, Gappu climbed up the string of the balloon. He could see the blades of a fan from above. There is so much dust on these blades. From below they look so clear. Gappu looked down and he could see a chair, a table with books on it and another table with fruits, bottles, jug, etc. Chinky was looking for cheese everywhere. Couldn't even see that it's kept on the jug. Children, why Gappu could see the cheese on the jug but not Chinky? Yes, because Gappu is at the top whereas Chinky is at the bottom. Now, let's see what happened to our Gappu. A strong wind pushed the balloon out of the room. 
The balloon flew up and Gappu started going up in the sky. As he looked down, he could see his house. When I run around in my house, it looks so big. But from here it looks so small. How is that? As he went up, he could see the park, the Gurudwara, the railway line, a sweet shop and Suhasini's house with the big water tank on its roof. This must be the Gurudwara where Amarji goes every day. Who is that on railway track? Is that fat cat Monty? Ha ha ha! From here it looks like a big white mouse. I did not know that there is a shop here. Yummy! Wow! Is that the train looking like a box from here? Wow! See the way things look for Gappu? It's so surprising that the things look so different from the top view than the way they exist in reality. Oh, wait children, let's see what happened to our Gappu. The balloon burst. He started falling down and down and everything started looking bigger and bigger. Gapu fell on the railway track where he saw the cruel Monty and ran on the track to save himself. Children, thank God, our Gapu is saved from the cruel Monty. It escaped successfully. Children, observe these two images. These images are the railway tracks which are taken from the top view and from the side view. Things look so different from the top view and from the side view. Isn't it? Yes, very good. Children, let's look at these pictures and discuss why things look wide and big at this end but narrow and small at the other end. In the first picture, one end of the railway track is looking wide and big while the other end is looking narrow and small as both of them are being seen from different distances. In the second picture, the distance between the rows of candles looks wide from one end and the narrow from the other end due to the same reason. Children, I have got you few tasks. Let's do it. Look at this image. This is a top view of a girl in yoga position. Now, I will give you four options among which you need to select the correct match of it. Have a look at these options. Observe it carefully. Now, Let's have a look at the given top view. Very good. If you carefully observe, in the given top view, the girl had raised her right hand. Do you observe that? Very good. Among these options, identify the picture where the girl had raised her right hand. Yes. Look at the option number A. She had raised her right hand. Therefore, option A is a correct match for the given top view of a girl in yoga position. Very good. Let's proceed to the next task. I will show you two images where you need to select the one where the bowls are upside down. Have a look at the images. So, these are the two given pictures where you need to choose a picture where the bowls are upside down. Well, to answer this, let's try to have the side view of the picture. Have a look at that.
we can observe that in this side view the bowls are not upside down now have a look at the given two options and identify the picture where the bowls are upside down very good second option is the correct answer where you can see that the bowls are upside down very good children let's try to draw lines and match the side view and top view of a pipe and a funnel observe these figures where we can find the hole by which we can identify the top view this is the side view of the pipe and here we observe the top view of the pipe where we can see a hole in it this is the side view of the funnel and this is the top view where we can see a hole in it children let's have a look at the park behind gappu's house here is the bigger picture of it let's observe it carefully and answer the questions children this is the gappu's house and this is the park this park has four gates namely gate a gate b gate c and finally gate d and here you observe a sweet shop this park contains various things such as a seesaw a flower bed a yellow bench a basketball court and finally a green bench children now let's try to answer few questions based on this firstly mark the gate near to sweet shop the given options are gate a gate b gate c and gate d observe the sweet shop in the picture and see its distance from gate a and this is the distance from gate b it's clear that gates c and d are far away from the sweet shop if we compare with gates a and b and now observe the distance between gate a and sweet shop and gate b and sweet shop we can see that distance between sweet shop and gate a is lesser than the distance between sweet shop and gate b therefore gate a is nearest to sweet shop now let's move to second question which gate is nearer to gappu's house observe gappu's house and the four gates yes from the picture it's clear that gate c is nearer to gappu's house now let's move to question 3 if you enter from gate b the green bench will be to your left or right or front children if we enter from gate b this will be our left and this will be our right so we observe that green bench will be to our left now let's go to next question when suhasini entered the park the flower bed was to her right which gate did she enter from children suppose suhasini entered the park from gate a this will be her left and this will be her right so this means that flower bed is to her left but if she enters from gate d this will be her right and this will be her left so this means that flower bed will be to her right therefore suhasini had entered the park through gate d now let's come to the final question 
which of these is nearest to you if you enter from gate C? The given options are option A basketball court, option B flower bed, option C green bench and option D seesaw. Children, let us try to find the given options in the picture. This is the basketball court. This is the flower bed. This is the green bench. And finally, this is the seesaw. So, if we enter from gate C, clearly seesaw will be near to us. Therefore, option D, seesaw is the correct answer. Children, a girl named Srijata needed help to go to her friend Ismail's home. Ismail said his address over a phone call to Srijata. Let us see what Ismail had said to Srijata. From your house, reach the milk booth and then take a left turn. From the second crossing, take a right turn and go over the bridge. Go straight and then take the first right turn. After about 100 meters, you will see a big park. When you cross the park, you will come to a side lane. My house is first house in that lane. Children, did Ismail go wrong somewhere? Let's have a look at that. After reaching milk booth, she takes left turn and from the second crossing, she takes right turn and goes over the bridge. And now she will reach this spot. Ismail said to go straight and take first right turn. But which direction she should move from here? Very good. She should go to her left to find the park. Once if she finds the park, she will find Ismail's home. Very good children. We had helped the Srijata to reach Ismail's home. Well done. Children, let's do the final task. Do you all remember Ghibli? Yes, the ant in the Math Magic 3. Very good. Actually, Ghibli had found a big box and this is how it looked like. Ghibli moved across and turned left. She saw the other face of the box. She was totally confused. So, Ghibli climbed up the box and from there, this is how it looked like. Children, I have such a box. Can you see the numbers on this? Very good. This is number 1. Here is number 2. And here number 3. Here number 4. Here number 5 and finally here it is number 6. So this box has 6 faces. So now we will do one thing. We will try to calculate the sum of the numbers written on the opposite faces. Yes. Now which number is here? It is 6. So now let us go to the opposite face that means here. What number is here? 1. So, what is 6 plus 1? Very good. It is 7. Make a note of it. Now, let us see the other face. What is the number written here? 2. Now, let us go to the other opposite face. So, here from here if you go, what number did you get? 5. So, what is 2 plus 5? Very good. It is again 7. Did you observe? Previously, we got 6 plus 1 which was 7. Now, you got 2 plus 5 which is also 7. Now, let us start with the 3. Here is the number 3. Let us go to its opposite face. What is opposite face? Exactly opposite. So, could you see 4 here? Yes. So, what is the sum? 
3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So now, if you observe, we have got 1 plus 6 is equal to 7, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, 3 plus 4 is also equal to 7. So, we can see that the sum of the numbers written on the opposite faces is always 7. Very good. Now, if suppose Ghibli is on 5 and if she is going to her left, what number she will reach? Let us look at that. So, she is on 5, if she is going to her left, so she will reach, yes, she will reach number 3. Very good, well done. Children, what will be the box look like if we opened it up? I will give you four options where you need to choose the correct one. Have a look at all these four options. Yes, if you observe all these options, identify the option where the sum of the numbers which are on the opposite will make 7. Have a look at the options once again. Children, can you identify the correct answer? Well, if you look at the option A, if you sum the numbers on the opposite faces, it always makes 7 but not in any other option. So, that gives us an idea that option A is the correct answer. Children, if you see all these examples and situations, it is clear that the way the world looks need not be the same way it exists in reality, isn't it? Yes. So, here we end the class. Hey, wait. Wait, wait. Gappu have something to tell you. My dear friends, wash your hands frequently. Wear mask, stay safe. Take care. Bye. Children, it was very happy to know about Gappu and his air journey, isn't it? Well, hope you have enjoyed the class. So, have a good day. Take care. Thank you.